Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Friend Shad Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday, and praise God for whom all blessings flow. It is August 4th, August 4th of 2024, 949 in the a.m. Today is Barack Obama's birthday. Today is Barack Obama's birthday. Going forward, we will fade out of the number 62, of which I've shown that he's allegedly associated with because he's 62 years old. However, today it makes 63. So you will see a lot of decodes going forward with 63. Why is that? Because it's allegedly that he is the Antichrist. And he is the one that they have extracted, so to speak, from Pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten the 10th ruler of the 18th dynasty. Well, let's look at him, right? I cannot see if we can pull that up. I cannot. Here you go. I got lucky. Thank God it's in my system. I cannot was born a younger son of Pharaoh and his principal wife, Queen Tyre, the 10th ruler. 10th ruler of the 18th dynasty. He came to power in either the year 1353 or 1351 BC and reigned for roughly 17 years during Egypt's new kingdom. Is it possible that the fallen angels got together with these, with mankind and brought something from the past is it possible that mankind got together with the fallen angels and extracted this and brought it back? I say it's possible. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the end time. I believe they're back. And I believe the sun god is back. We are on the tail end. That is the latter days. That means Jesus is coming soon. That's what it means. So let, so let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now today I want to take you on a voyage. Yesterday, Trump was in Atlanta. And he had a rally. I said Trump was in Atlanta yesterday and he had a rally. And... Um, I want you to understand, when I do these videos, it is in part for educational purposes. I want you to see not what they always say and do, but also what they don't say and do. And I will show you as I go what I'm saying. Let's start off with this. One thing I know about my people, we got quick wit. <clears throat> I said we got quick wit. And when I was a kid, man, I tell you, I used to tell a lot of jokes and have fun and we called it signifying. And that's what was done here. And it takes <laughs> a sister to really pull it off like nobody's business. People, you can have your three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes of fame. And you can be utilized by the powers thinking that you're in it, really, really in it. But yet you're just a tool because everything's based on the pyramid concept. They put 
X amount of people and project them and propel them to the top. So the masses of people who identify with that person in terms of color or culture can be magnetized, that is drawn to them. And then in time, the hook is in there and you follow that person, but you're really following that leader and the system. The system, what is the system? The system that's coming. Like I said, Akhenaten was the 10th ruler of the 18th dynasty. Luke 10, 18. As I beheld Satan, like a bolt of lightning being hurled out of heaven. And so what happens is that this young lady um, who's an activist, I featured her yesterday, Miss Montgomery, she signified on Kamala Harris. Crowd is, woo, a lot of them didn't understand it though. I say maybe a fourth of the folks, they didn't understand it because you know, you gotta break this thing down sometime before you, you know, pop off on somebody, but it's okay. By this time, I'm sure the whole crowd gets it now. She was calling Kamala Harris out because she used to deal with a guy, I believe his name was Willie Brown, I think it was. Uh, he was a big, uh, what, the mayor of, I forgot what city, but uh, Kamala Harris had a romance with him, you know, and basically was her mentor and uh, supported her and helped her get two prestigious jobs back in the day. And uh, I wanna make sure we keep this in context. Carmela was dating him. He was still married, but yet this gentleman and his wife were 10 years separated. Either way, he was still married. So now Miss Montgomery is signifying saying, hey, you talking about black families? You want to destroy black families? You want to understand the concept of black families? Uh, ask Carmela because, hey, in so many words, um, uh, allegedly, you break up black families. But, but what I want you to understand is that doing this rally, there's some things that weren't said. That should have been said. And why do you think that, Pearson? Because allegedly it was crafted. It was crafted for the masses of people to be drawn to her, and she supports Trump. And Trump is a king who serves the higher power. That's how the pyramid structure goes, allegedly. Now check this out. Now here's a, you know, here's a lady everybody don't like, but we want to, we want to hear both sides, okay? So hear me out, check it out. Night on the readout, and again, Christians get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm not Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. Do you believe if Donald Trump were elected next year that he would try to stay in office beyond a second term? That he would never leave office? There's no question. Do you think no he would question. try to stay in power forever? Absolutely. Now, people... This is current news. I did this video three days ago. And I think that you all should agree with me. I would hope so. That we had this rally. We had this rally. The lady spoke eloquently. She captivated the crowd. But how come we didn't talk about this man a few days ago saying get out and vote and everything will be fixed because you don't have to vote no more. Can I say it another way? Or should I play it so you can hear it again? Trump said, Christians get out and vote. I believe he said, I'm a Christian. I love you Christians. 
but get out and vote. I guess I paraphrase in droves. And you won't have to vote no more because they'll be fixed. People, that was called a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity. What would you rather have? And I'm not knocking the system. Would you have rather have somebody signifying on another candidate? Or would you rather have him explain what he meant? Look, or we can walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. We can signify, very entertaining, and she made a major point. But by the same token, we gave this man a pass indirectly. I just want to put it on your mind this morning, people. These are serious times. Is this man being used to take us into the 15 million cities? Or these organizations which have it allegedly stitched in their doctrine, which to me, a lot of these things, these think tanks, they say they agree with the Constitution, but yet I know the courts and the, the laws are like a breathing document. I get it. But they're not asking us, was Trump speaking in code when he said, go ahead and vote, come out and vote. And it will be fixed. You won't have to vote no more. And as much as folks might hate Dick Cheney's daughter, Liz Cheney, suppose she's right. Suppose there is a dictatorship coming. That's all I'm saying. Now check this out. Trump is going to say that he met Miss Montgomery at a restaurant. He forgot the name of the restaurant, but it was Chick-fil-A. It was three months ago. And he's also going to say that she didn't know that he was coming. That's not true. I said then when I did a video and I'm saying now, all this stuff is staged. You better use your head, people. You better use your head. Listen. You know, I thought I was. All right, let me go back. Okay, here we go. You just got me to sign it. I, did, I got nothing out of that. Hey, Michaela, I know you spoke. Just come up for a second. Come here. This young woman. I walked into, I don't know what the hell restaurant it was, but I walked into this restaurant. And we do it very quietly. We don't announce it. That's for, you know, security person, reasons over there. I walked in. She's behind the counter. And she didn't know I was coming. And she goes, it's President Trump. Here looks at me. It's President Trump. You saved my college. And I said, how the hell do you know that? She said, you are, so, this one is so smart, so sharp. She grabbed me. She gave me a kiss. I said, I think I'm never going back home to the first lady. <laughs> you were supposed to keep that quiet. See now, for the average politician, that's death. For me, I don't care. I just want to tell you, you are an unbelievable person with a great personality. You lit up the whole room. You lit up the whole room. I said, weeks later, I'd go, who is that person that was so incredible? She knew everything about me. She had no idea I was coming. She knew everything about me. And you know, the historically black colleges and universities, I gave millions and millions, billions of dollars to. They kept coming back. And so you can see, he said it twice, that she did not know he was coming. But I don't want to lose sight of this. Trump did help the black colleges. He did way more than the Harris-Biden administration. But what I, what I want you to understand is that this is the black and white. This is the checkerboard move. The Democrats will do things that the Republicans won't do and vice versa. And they get their cherry-picked issues and we sit up here and say, well, I'm old. 
support that particular candidate based on what they did. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Love it. Blacks. Oh, we, you helped the colleges and you did this, you did that. And you know, another group might say this, well, yeah, uh, uh, Biden administration did this, did it. And that's what they do. Let's just say there's a big bowl of cherries and all it's a hundred cherries and all of them is a hundred issues. They basically get 50, 50 and then they run around doing the campaign and they talk about all the great things they did on both sides. And then we choose not knowing they all in it together. End of the day, all roads lead to the same destination. We be in hoodwinks. It's hard for people to grasp. I get it. I know I'm not liked here by a lot of people. I get it. But just think about what I'm saying. Delay, deny. Debate, derail, then destroy. We're almost destroyed. That's why I said yesterday in my live, don't give Trump and Biden and Harris no more money. Save your neighborhood. Suppose something happens like 2019 all over again. You got to start spending money on your neighborhood because they closed down what? That which they deemed which was not essential. Do you understand what I'm saying? It can happen again. And now we're listening to Trump saying, I, she didn't know. She had no idea I was coming. That's not true. That's not true. Watch this. Three. We got to vote for him. He's running for Congress. I do. I put campuses together. So all these HBCU students that you see here, I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also knocked doors for you in the past for your past you election bid. Did you hear what she said? She did it. I'm going to play it a few times and I want you to hear it. He's acting, allegedly, and she's acting. Listen, listen. He's running District 3. We got to vote for him. He's running for Congress. No. I do. I put campuses together. So all these HBCU students that you see here, I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also not... All, I put all these campuses together, all these HBC students, I put them together, and I brought them here. She's telling it. Jack, no, Ryan Jack is running no. District 3. We got to vote for him. He's running for Congress. No. Matter of fact, let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Listen. I do. I put campuses together. So all these HBCU students that you see here, I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you. Did you hear it? HBC. I brought him here to meet you, Mr. President. I did my homework, baby. The Holy Spirit shows me things. I've been writing since I was 18. Listen. We got to vote for him. He's running for Congress. Oh, I do. I put campuses together so all these HBCU students that yeah. you see here oh. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also knocked doors for you in the past for your past few wow. election bid, and when you ran the first time. Wow. Yes, I was interning for the GAGOP at that time. Did you hear it? You heard it for yourself. He's acting allegedly, and she's acting allegedly. And then they're selling this thing. They're selling it. So people can do what? So they can galvanize toward this party. You're gonna follow somebody, one of these parties, to take you into the one world system. That's how it go. I hate to bring it the truth to you like that, but I'm gonna tell you, we being had. Now listen to the whole thing as it flows. And then she wasn't behind no counter. She didn't work there. He said she was behind the counter. And all of a sudden she gave him a kiss. No. He put his arms out. He said, let me give you a kiss. Listen. 
We got to vote for him. He's running for Congress. I do. I put campuses together. So all these HBCU students that you see here, I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also knocked doors for you in the past for your past you re-election bid and when you ran the first time. Yeah. Wow. I was interning for the GAGOP at that time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Doing a lot for your tax credit reform bill and everything like that. Well, we so, took yeah. care of those yeah. colleges. And sure did. Stuff. Sure did. Much better than Biden did. So I was living This is Clark Atlanta. This is Stoneman. This is Morehouse. This is Morris Brown. Wow. They're all saying. Isn't that great? So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. We support you. Uh, we support love you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please Ain't that deep? Ain't that deep? Jay is deep. At this point, your jaw should be on the floor. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a sale. Let's go from here. Barack Obama, I told y'all, the thing is staged, allegedly. Now, here is a situation, another video. I'm going to show you one of my deepest videos in that I believe this stage, this was stage two. Trump was at, I'm trying to give you some receipts on other, where I believe the situation was staged. You're going to see the image of Jesus in a window when Trump gets in his limo. Watch this. Now, remember that lady I showed you in black and white taking pictures? I think that's the same lady when he was at the gun shop last year. She on Tiffany Blue. That's the, that's the secondary color of the Phoenicians. Their first color is purple. Their secondary color is Tiffany Blue. Ain't nothing wrong with the colors. We can wear them, but that's how they speak. They speak through colors. See her taking pictures? Then look at this. There was another lady when he went uh, earlier this year. I did a video on this. Uh, he went to uh, Chick Chick-fil-A, and a lady took pictures. And her legs was crossed. Do you see that? Her legs are crossed. That's an X. Who takes a picture like that? Her legs are crossed. Well, always watch the lady in the camera with the camera taking pictures of Trump. Those are signs for the future. To me, allegedly. Who takes a picture with the legs crossed? What is the X? I predicted the demise of Trump with a lot of videos. And this was major. When I show you the time scheme, after he went to that Chick-fil-A, after he met that activist, boom, I think it was three months and three weeks, whatever, Trump was shot. And now they're together on the stage yesterday. It's imminent, people. It's imminent. They're going to tell you what they're going to do to Trump. But it's not him. It's a substitute. The goal is to take him out, cause chaos, and possible civil war. I'm telling you, I'm getting you ready now. I want Jesus to come. But at some point, we got to identify and wake up. Don't give your money. Don't flush it down the toilet. I'm, look, I can't make it more, no more plainer than this. Watch. X is the eclipse. X is the 24th letter of the alphabet. They're going to take him out. They've been telling us for a long time. X. She got her legs crossed. Now, I'm saving, I'm saving something deep for last. This is what they're depicting Trump as. Literal. I'm not playing with y'all. In this video, breaking news by Forbes. Breaking news, Trump visits famous Philly Steakhouse restaurant before Philadelphia. It is a 22 minute video. I've been working on this thing for five hours. 22 minutes and 40 seconds, but watch the end. It's gonna go quick, but it's gonna blow your mind. Trump is about to get into the limo and watch what happens. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Watch this. 
It's okay if you didn't see it. I said it's okay if you didn't see it, I'm gonna play it again. But I'm gonna show you. I told y'all they're gonna blow this guy up like he's the savior. Then they're gonna take him out like Christ. Let me show you what you was looking at. The lady's taking this picture. She's rolling her camera, doing a video. He goes to the limo. This is the limo window. There is an image there, but it's blurred. And you can barely read that, but it's S-A-C-R or something. Watch, watch this. He's getting in the limo. Then he thumbs up, whatever, saluting to the people. And you start to see the formation of it a little bit better. But what is it? S-A-C-R, that's all you see. Now I want to stop and pause because I'm almost crying right about now. Listen to this and watch his fists and think about when he got shot, what did he do with his fists? Don't tell me God don't show us in sequence ahead of time what they're going to do allegedly. Watch. Oh, like Christ. Let me show you what you was looking at. The lady's taking this picture. She's rolling her camera, doing a video. He goes to the limo. This is the limo window. There is an image there, but it's blurred. And you can barely read that, but it's S-A-C-R or something. Watch, watch this. He's getting in the limo. Then he thumbs up, whatever. Look at his fist. Saluting to the people. Look at his fist. And you start to see the formation of it a little bit better. But what is it? S-A-C-R, that's all you see. You still see an image, but it's blurred. But watch. Look at it and look in it. Who is that? Is that a halo? You should have chills by now. Who is that and is that a halo? Now look at it. Do you see it? Do you see it? And then at the end, what do you see? Look on the window. This car was lined up perfectly. This represents a cross. They lined the limo up perfectly. They lined it up perfectly. So you can look at this. This people, check out that video. Trump visit to steakhouse, think. To me, this is why my viewers are low. I know you guys are watching the video. I believe, look, I know I'm under attack. Just keep watching the videos, tell your friends, keep resubscribing. 40 to 50% of y'all, maybe even more, are unsubscribed two, three times a month. Just help me endure until Jesus comes. That's all I'm asking. Now watch two more things and I'm done. Watch this here. Welcome to my channel. If I told you that Donald J. Trump, the last few years when he goes out at an event, a public event, the radar for the five C's is off the chain. What would you think? Trust me, it is. Well, today he went out to Chick-fil-A. I watched the video a few times. My spirit kept telling me it was something there. I couldn't figure it out. 
when I finally had some personal time, I believe I figured it out. When he entered into Chick-fil-A, mostly in the background, she's got on black. To me, black is symbolic of death. Straight up, symbolic of death. When he comes in, watch this. He ordered 30 milkshakes. Now you guys know I did a restaurant for what, 18, 19 years. I can spat a manager in a minute. This here is your manager. She's your manager in the red and black. The rest are crew people or team leads. Like this might be a lead here, but I believe this is your manager here. She's got on red and black. I believe this was all staged because it's speaking. And I'm gonna show you why it's speaking. Just hold tight. Hello, this has been a great, great American franchise, definitely. It is, it's a great franchise. The owner is a great man who's a member of one of my clubs and he's fantastic and uh, yeah, they do very well. They're closed on Sunday. The Lord's Chicken. That's the Lord's Chicken, you're right. It's good chicken too. He's an Asian. And he took a picture with him. Interesting. I watched this picture. This lady walks up. She takes a picture with him. But look at her hat. I believe it says retaliation. And it's got the skull in the hat for death. Just getting interesting, isn't it? Hunch. Stephen Miller here, president of America First Legal. Foreigners in the United States who support tip. Thank you very much, by the way. So she takes a picture with him. Interesting. Let's see again. Retaliation. And there she is. And she's got on all black, but it's black and white. Remember, play both sides. Playing both sides. Retaliation means. We already know what retaliation means. In less than 36 hours, the war in Israel escalated. That's a fact. Let's go with this next. Now look at this. Chick-fil-A, name of the restaurant. Isn't that... Barack Obama, 62 years old today, right? Now he's 63, he was 62 then, and he was the 44th president. That's what Chick-fil-A means. Is that coincidence? 62 years old was Barack Obama, he's the 44th president. I gotta tell y'all people, we're allegedly being had. Don't fall for the okie doke. I'm putting it all together for you. Then you got, um, Shake, he bought milkshakes. Trump bought milkshakes. Shake comes out the 44. Who's the 44th president? Barack, Barack Obama. See it's all been crafted? Now let me show you something deep at the end. Watch this. Yes. He gave out 30 milkshakes, 44. <laughs> Remember that in the beginning? What did he do? He greeted the ladies. And listen. <laughs> I, I think that's very nice. Have a good time. Nice to see you. 
30 milkshakes. Shake is 44. Barack Obama all day. 44 president. Now look at this. Chick fil A. So I'm going to stop right there because what I want to do now is take you to the last video. And this is going to blow your mind. This lady here, right here, in black, and he's standing on a red carpet. This lady is in black. Trump is standing on a red carpet. Red and black is sacrifice. Do you understand? This is serious. He's standing allegedly in a pool of blood. It's deep. Watch this. I believe I figured it out. When he entered into Chick-fil-A, mostly in the background, she's got on black. To me, black is symbolic of death. Straight up, symbolic of death. When he comes in, watch this. See what she did? She crossed her legs. Did you catch that? She immediately crossed her legs. Watch her. Watch her cross her legs as she's taking a picture. When he comes in, watch this. To me, that's symbolic. He's going to be X soon. And then what happened? Uh, less than what? I want to say, man, when I did my decode, let me see, my decode is three months and three weeks. So about three months and one week later, he actually, uh, he actually got, that's when he had the, uh, the shooting. That's deep. I'm reflected on this. So here it is there. So let's go. Um, man, it just, it just went in my mind what happened. Let's go to the... Now, let me show you this. This will be the last clip. Watch this here. Speaking without speaking. And then here's the part. This is the day that they were at the Chick-fil-A. April 10th of 2024. And this is the day that Malika McKella, McKella Montgomery is speaking. August 3rd, 2024, she's speaking today. Yesterday. So between April 10th and August 3rd. Look how many, look at, look at the, look at the difference. Yesterday in Atlanta, this lady spoke. Miss Montgomery. The difference between this day when he met her, April 10th, which I believe was staged at Chick-fil-A, versus yesterday her speaking, the difference was three months, three weeks, and three days. You tell me this wasn't staged, allegedly. Three months, three weeks, and three days. Three, 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 like Masonic. Isn't that something? Is that coincidence or what? Now check this out. Let's go with uh, the day that Trump got shot at. What was it, 713? Wow, look at that, people. Look at this. The day he was at Chick-fil-A, and the hat said retaliation, 410. And this is the day that Trump got shot, right? 713. The difference is three months and three weeks, three, three. And like I said, if you look at- It's all there. I hope you guys really appreciate this. Yeah, it took some time to produce, but hey. And like I said, she crossed her legs. That means he's about to be exed. And three months, and what, three weeks later, boom, he got shot, attempted. But now, he's back, he met this girl again, Montgomery. I don't believe she has anything to do with that. I just believe every, all this stuff is staged because they're speaking to us, the five C's of clues, codes, colors, confidential time conclusion. How far are we from the alleged attempt again? All black, cross legs. The 24th letter of the alphabet is X. She crossed her legs as she took his photograph. And he's standing on a red carpet. To me, that's symbolic of a pool of blood. I'm Franchise Pearson. Tell me what you think.
if you don't know Jesus, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. 